Can you imagine your life without your mobile devices, including your smartphone? Taking photos, mobile banking, and offline payment are all done through mobile devices, and they are getting smarter and smarter. Today, we will learn about the semiconductors that is essential to our smart devices. In the previous video about system semiconductors, we talked about System on Chip, or SOC, a multifunctional chip that contains the whole system on one chip. Conventionally, a system consists of several semiconductors that operate different functions. SOC is a technique in which a system composed of several devices with different functions are made into a single chip. The CPU, GPU, NPU, modem, ISP, and more are gathered onto one chip, making the chip a system of its own. That's why a mobile AP is considered the brain of a smartphone. But what's the reason to put all these components on a single chip that's as small as a fingernail? There are several reasons. Rather than making five or six chips separately, having them all on one chip reduces the cost and there is no need to design and install each chip, so it is easier to design a smartphone. Furthermore, it is related to battery life. During the desktop era, when resources were continuously supplied while using a computer, there was no reason to reduce power consumption. But what about now? How do you feel when you go out and your smartphone doesn't have much battery left, or when you get the alert that only 10% of battery is left? C. Low power consumption became very important. From now on, let me tell you why you have to put various functions into the mobile AP. It reduces the power consumption of smartphones. If there are several chips, more power is being consumed to operate them. However, since they are combined into one, the power needed is reduced. In other words, better power consumption and battery life. Additionally, as mobile AP takes up a small space on the smartphone board, we are able to secure more space on the limited smartphone board. Now, you can add more functions to make a high-performance smartphone. Therefore, a mobile AP is a system semiconductor that has become more necessary than ever. Voila! Doesn't inside the chip look like a well-planned future city? Let's examine the key functions of a mobile AP. A mobile AP's main functions include CPU functions and GPU function. First, there is the CPU inside a mobile AP that performs the same role as the CPU in a desktop computer. Next, the GPU perform roles related to images and videos. There are the Neural Processing Unit, or NPU, for AI applications, and the Digital Signal Processing, or DSP. They are used for quick and efficient on-device AI. The NPU and DSP support facial, object, and voice recognition. There is also the modem inside the mobile AP. It provides broad support of the 5G network, LTE, and other various communication environments, depending on the user's various communication environments. The Image Signal Processor, or ISP, and the Multi-Format Codec, or MFC, are in charge of taking photos and videos. The display block transmits and receives images and video signals from the mobile device's screen or external screens. And the security block processes data related to personal information and security. In addition, there is the interface block that helps connect the processor and the functions of the storage device, sensor, display, and Wi-Fi inside the mobile AP. All these components are contained on a single chip, making it indeed a multifunctional chip. Now, here is an example to show how the mobile AP works. Let's take a look at the camera app we use. First, when you tap on the camera app on the screen, the CPU will run the app. The information that comes in through the image sensor is analyzed by the NPU to determine what type of object it is. In portrait mode, it accurately distinguishes the person from the background and blurs the background. When clicking an AR emoji, the GPU draws a cute 3D graphic. When you take a picture, the ISP creates a high-quality image based on optimal settings for that object or environment. When you're taking a video, it gets stored in the smartphone storage through the codec of the multimedia block. When you upload a photo or video to social media or do a live stream, the modem sends and receives data. When you're checking all these processes on the display, the display block of the mobile AP continuously shows data as a panel. In this short time of taking a photo and uploading it to social media, various semiconductors in the mobile processor operate quickly, interacting with each other. Today, we learned about the mobile AP, 
which is called the brain of a smartphone. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Stay tuned for another interesting video about semiconductors.